Hi, I'm Alex, customer engineer on the Chrome Browser Enterprise team. Managing your browser updates via group policy or downloading a bunch of MSIs and PKGs is a thing of the past. In this video, I'll walk you through a more modern approach to update controls available in Chrome Browser Cloud Management. Let's dive right in. To see all the update policies available in Chrome Browser Cloud Management, we need to go to Devices, Chrome, Settings, and Users and Browser Settings. Next, let's filter by categories and search for updates. The first policy we'll look at is the Chrome Browser Updates. Let's say that you are in an organization that wants to strictly control the version of the browser. You just need to pin the browser to that version and then let Google Update do all the work. For example, I will pin to version 106. Dot. The period at the end is important, so make sure you don't forget to add that. Now, the browser will stay on version 106, but it will update to any sub patch that we might release. If you want to upgrade to 107, you just change the version to 107. Dot, and you're good to go. Now, let's say that a critical update came out and you need to get to that as soon as possible. A normal Chrome update cycle can take up to a week to roll out to the global population. We slowly roll out to a small percentage at a time to make sure that we do not introduce any undiscovered bugs or break the internet. To bypass Google's rollout mechanism, you just need to enter the complete version string, and as soon as your browsers check for an update, they will upgrade to that specific build regardless of the percentage rollout that Google is offering. For example, I will pin to 106.0.5249.120. The only downside to this approach is that if we release another minor version of 106, your users will not get it until you update the complete version string or change it back to 106. Now, let's say that your application owners did not do their due diligence on testing Chrome with their application, and you find yourself needing to downgrade the browser. Well, we have a policy for that as well. For this demo, let's say I want to downgrade to 105. All I need to do is change the version pinning to 105 dot, and then enable the rollback to target version feature. That's it. No more MSIs, PKGs, and whatnot. Also, like with any policy in Chrome Browser Cloud Management, we follow the concept of OU inheritance. So you can set up some policies at the top OU and override an individual setting at a child OU. This way, you can have a few testers for updates on a sub OU and then roll up the policy when you're ready to roll it out to everyone. I mentioned just a second ago about your application owners testing their apps with Chrome. There are some best practices around that which we can cover. As the Chrome admin, you should not have to test all apps with it. That is the job of each application owner. You generally want your application owners to be on a newer version of Chrome so that they can give you a heads up if anything breaks. The downside to that is that you have to wait for them to give a thumbs up prior to any updates. What we recommend our customers is to identify the app owners into their own OU. This can be a sub OU below your production OU so they, they get all the other policies that your normal production users get. Then you unset the version pinning policy and change the release channel from stable to beta. Now your app owners are always one version ahead of everyone. This also allows you to set Chrome to auto update and not worry about version pinning. You can still use the version pinning policy as an emergency when an issue is detected with a newer version of Chrome with one of your applications. Now, we know that an, app, an update is not fully applied until the user restarts their browser. We know how much users like to keep their browsers open for weeks at a time and keep dozens of tabs open. Our relaunch notification policy allows you to correct that user behavior and encourage them to restart their browsers to apply an update. Let's take a look at it. You are given two options for the policy, show notifications or force a relaunch. The first one is OK, it will remind users to restart. But let's face it, most users just dismiss it and not do anything about it. We like recommending the second option to our customers. Now, the policy itself has a few configurable options. The first one we care about is the time period. This allows you to set up a grace period that the user is allowed to continue using the browser for after an update is staged. Let's say that I'm feeling generous and give my users eight hours. As Chrome checks for an update and applies the required files on the system drive, the eight hour timer starts. The user will be encouraged with notifications to relaunch the browser. After eight hours, they will be prompted with a pop-up to restart the browser. They cannot dismiss it and can only click on OK to acknowledge the restart. 
When you combine this with the target version pinning to complete version string, you can really speed up the rollout of a browser to your entire enterprise. The other configurable values for this policy are the relaunch window start time and duration. If, for example, you want to set up quiet hours when a browser should not restart, you can use these two parameters. That's it. You are now an expert in managing Chrome updates directly from the admin console. To learn more on this topic, check out our website or get in touch with an expert. We hope to connect soon. Happy browsing!